Now, please welcome Hunter Whittahall. Hi. I don't know if it is, you're a great hugger. Great uh, hugs. Oh, They're well, awesome. I'll hug you more if you'd like. I, you're, I'm not complaining. You're amazing. <laughs> I'm not crying, I'm not crying, I'm not crying, I'm not crying, you're crying. Hunter, my boyfriend, was on the Ellen show. I can't even explain how happy and how proud I am, proud I am of him. Oh, he gets me. I love you so much. Hello everyone, I just want to let you know there's a ton of stuff to unpack in this video so bear with me. It's going to go all the way from actually getting to The Ellen Show, behind the scenes of The Ellen Show, kind of my thoughts as well as Tara kind of reacting to it as well. There's a little bit of everything in it so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It took a ton of work so if you guys wouldn't mind just hitting the like button, it helps us out a ton and we really do appreciate it. I wanted to put this whole story in context so I started from the day that we actually left for The Ellen Show so we're just going to rewind to then. It's 12 o'clock, I just finished school, practice, and everything, and um, I'm on my way to the Ellen Show. I'm at the airport right now, and I just, I, I don't know, this is absolutely crazy. It's just hard to put into words how, like, how I feel right now. I'm, anxious but excited and just overwhelmed. I, I don't know, I, I can't say much about it except I'm excited. This is, it's crazy. I wish more than anything that Tara was here, but um, I hope this is a step in the right direction for our future and just everything coming up. So without further ado, I guess here we go. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Yeah. I swear on everything, it is the nicest thing in the world to only travel with a backpack. When you have nothing else, just a backpack. For me, a camera bag, so even better. Welcome to your final destination. Please see me here at the podium, and I'll be happy to take care of that for you. Sora and Olivia, for your flight attendants, I'll listen to their safety announcements. Holy cow, I usually don't get this nervous for anything, really. I'm gonna say anything. But um, today I'm going on the Ellen Show. And to say I am nervous is an understatement. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. So I just kind of got ready, still have to do my hair and do some other things to be totally ready for the show. But we're getting picked up at 12.45, it's nine o'clock right now, and there's a lot of huge things going on today. So never in Ellen's history has anybody been able to film backstage or behind the scenes and they politely asked me to be the first one to do so. There is a caveat for this and that is that they want me to do it on this platform TikTok. And if you guys are familiar with TikTok, I've been doing TikTok for a little over a month now. I think it's a really amazing platform. It's a fun way to, you know, express yourself in a more short form way and you guys have been loving it. So thank you so much if anyone's following and supporting on there. But the plan is to actually take over Ellen's TikTok. I I know. I know. I know. Before I f start going on this little adventure of mine, um, I just wanted to say a few things quickly. First, thank you everyone that has supported me up to this point. Thank you everyone who's, you know, been there in my life and helped me get to this point. I appreciate you a lot. Secondly, I wish more than anything that Tara was here. Uh, we thought she was going to be here. There was a problem with her track schedule and she wasn't able to make it, so she's really sad that she's not able to be here, but um, it's okay. It'll work for the future, so. By the way, here's a little clip of me telling her she was coming because she didn't think she was coming before and I surprised her and let her know that she was actually going to be able to make it. And I want to say this as well. Whoever you are, wherever you are, 
go follow your dreams. It doesn't matter what race, religion, gender, sexual orientation you are, at the end of the day, we're all humans. We're all equal. And the only thing that separates you and the person sitting next to you is how much you want it, how bad you want to accomplish your dreams. So me right here living my literal dream in the flesh, in the moment, I'm telling you right now, go chase your dreams. Whatever it is, don't wait till tomorrow, don't put it off, go do it today. Do something today that's gonna get you closer to your goal tomorrow. And that's all, and just do it one day at a time. I promise it's gonna pay off. I know it's scary to put yourself out there, but it, it pays off. So I love you all, can't wait to share this day with you. I'll film as much as I can. Obviously a lot of it's gonna be on the TikTok and stuff like that, but I'll give you guys as much insight as I can. Love you all very much, and let's get on with the day. As you know, I was going to take you through a little bit of the behind the scenes. Unfortunately, like the only things I could film was for TikTok. So I'm just going to take the TikTok, put it right here, and then kind of talk to you guys about what was going through my mind, the things going on. And in the next video, we're going to go more in depth into it. But we just went over getting picked up. There was a driver that came to our hotel, picked us up, and brought us to the studio. Um, and then we went to the artist entry, which is where every single person who's on the online show enters. It's where everything starts and it's it's such a cool cool experience as you walk into the ellen show you're greeted at a desk with somebody saying hello welcome to the ellen show um it's very welcoming it's it's such a great place and then you go backstage where you go down a hall where ellen has a bunch of pictures of her with other celebrities that have been on the show and then you go into your dressing room where you will find lots of snacks a massive mirror for some reason huge mirror obvious reasons actually and then Ellen all over the place and then you have your own bathroom there where you can change get ready look at yourself your use the bathroom possibly look no further here you go you can see Ellen while you're going to the bathroom how cool is that so after we were situated we got sent to hair and makeup which is really self-explanatory you go there they do your hair they do your makeup make sure you look presentable you don't look like this when you go on national television um, and again, they're the, they're the sweetest people ever, they're so kind, they're so genuine, and it's just a really great place to be. Right after that you go straight backstage where you're seated and you're ready to go on set for, you know, the taping. Um, as you walk up, this place is unbelievably loud. I don't know how big the audience was, it seemed like two to three hundred people I'm guessing, but it was insanely loud. And then I got a final mic check, and then I was off to go on the show. This is insane. I don't, I don't know if you can tell, but this is insane. Give it a like for part three. Now, full interview is on YouTube. I'm leaving a link to the interview right below here, so go check it out 100%. I will say next week we're going to be posting a full reaction to the video while me and Tara are together, so we can do it and have some fun with that. But coming up right now is Tara's brief reaction to the video, just a few clips. This is the first time she's seen it, so you guys get to see her blunt reaction. It's super funny, and I loved it a lot and wanted to share with you guys. My love, I just want I was never supposed to do. In fifth grade, I'm... I didn't actually start running track until seventh grade, and I but it's somewhere where I felt like I could actually. No, no, no. And I always wonder like, why, why are you clapping for the And I realized that people just. Why is that girl Ellen? Because I wanted people to see me as that's Hunter the athlete. So I agree with you. I think if people would just embrace whatever it is, and it's not there. There's no good or bad. There's no labeling it. It is just who you are and how you're born and whatever that is. And if somebody sees it as a disability or a disadvantage, it's like you're wrong. This is my strength. This yeah. Is what's gonna make me special and help. You know, moments like this, and I say that genuinely, is like being here and being able to show people that it doesn't matter. There's nothing that separates me from Spencer, Brendan. How much do you want? Yeah. Yeah, like go get it done. Yeah. Well. Uh, even at my state championship, my senior year, I won the state championship, I broke the state record, it was one of those moments. You know, I said to my girlfriend all the time, these are the moments. That's me! Alright, ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't need music for this. We have some friends at Shutterfly who want to help you get to the Paralympics this summer, so they're going to give you a check for $20,000. <laughs> Not crying. 
crying, I'm not 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 crying. You're crying. I've calmed down. I'm good. Hunter, my boyfriend, was on the Ellen show. I can't even explain how happy and how proud I am. Proud I am of him. Oh, he gets me. I love you so much. After the show was extremely emotional as well. I got to see my mom, hug her, and it was just a really fun moment to share with her. I'm so glad she was able to be there. And then, you know, I just kind of got to talk about how special it was for me, how, how amazing it was to have that opportunity. And it was really just great overall. So, I mean, it's, it's also amazing. I really hope you guys will go and watch the interview and let me know what you think of it. And I hope you guys will be here next week to see us go and react over the video and just kind of watch it and see all the funny little quirks and cues. And um, it's a little weird watching myself on camera, but um, I'm down to do it for you guys. So our first reaction video ever, you guys will be there. Lastly, thank you all so much. Love you very much. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button as we talked about, and we'll see you guys on Thursday. I just want to say my mind is still blown. This is it's so surreal. and. I told this to Ellen, if I would have asked myself five years ago where I'd be at today, this is the last thing I would ever imagine. So wherever you are, whoever you are, chase your dreams. It's up to you and it's so possible. So go get it.